Hi, I'm Cristina Ortiz. Rhinoceroses are big animals with armor-like skin and impressive horns. But they are not aggressive, they only become defensive when they feel threatened. Yet, most rhinoceros species are critically endangered. There are five species of rhino, each with its own unique characteristics, but they are facing poaching and habitat loss. Humans poach rhinos to sell their horns on the black market. Even though rhinos' horns can grow back, the poachers kill them and then cut off their horns. The species that has suffered this cruelty the most is the northern white rhino in Africa. Only two northern white rhinos are left, Najin and Faru, but they both are females, meaning this species is functionally extinct. But there is still hope. Here's where modern science, ethics and international cooperation step in to save a species on the brink of oblivion. Conservationists and scientists from different countries have joined forces in an effort to save them. Pioneering scientific projects in assisted reproduction are currently on their way. In vitro fertilization is one of the preferred options. Najin is too old to carry a safe pregnancy, and while Faro is younger, she cannot carry a pregnancy due to the condition of her uterus. However, she does produce eggs. So, conservationists have collected Fatus' eggs and fertilized them in a lab with the sperm from male northern white rhinos that died years earlier, but whose sperm was preserved. Thus, they have created viable embryos that are now frozen. They are awaiting implantation into surrogate mothers of a closely related subspecies, the southern white rhino. Rhinos have a long history on Earth dating back about 55 million years. Their ancestors appear shortly after the dinosaurs and long before humans. It is now in our hands to save one of the first large land mammals that inhabited Earth long before we did.